Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. I am super excited because we are back to school and back to the great homeschool show and tell hosted by uh, Jessica Waldock from the Waldock Way and Abby from Rooted and Rest. And we have a really fun get to know you this or that that um, I get to participate in this month. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, my name is Leah Simpson and I am a homeschool mother of three little girls. Um, this year we're doing fifth grade, fourth grade, and second grade. Um, and we have been homeschooling for seven years. I am a second generation homeschooler, meaning that I was homeschooled. Um, actually, I wasn't homeschooled all the way through, just junior high and high school, um, which is kind of flip-flopped for most people, but um, I really loved homeschooling and love homeschooling my kids as well. So um, we're going to dive into the get to know you uh, question. So it's a this or that, and they provided a list for us, um, coffee or tea. So uh, this is a no-brainer for me. It's definitely coffee, although I do enjoy tea. I am definitely a huge coffee drinker any time of the day or night. Um, early bird or night owl? This is kind of uh, <laughs> a hard question for me. I used to be such an early bird. Um, I do theater, and when I do theater, which I am doing right now, I am more of a night owl just because that's how theater goes. Um, but we do get up around 7 get things done and do school early in the morning. So I guess I'm going to go with early bird. Um, paper planning or digital planning for sure. Paper planning. Um, I am technologically challenged, so I don't do a whole lot of things that are based in technology. Um, one homeschool method or eclectic. I'm going to go with eclectic on this one. Um, we are leaning more towards the Charlotte Mason method, but we are also with a charter school. Um, and so we have to do a lot of things um, according to their rules. So we don't do everything Charlotte Mason. So um, we do a lot of like unit studies and things like that on this channel. So um, I'm going to go with eclectic. So, um, homeschool hoarder or minimalist? Uh, I'm going to have to say hoarder. <laughs> I feel like I'm really somewhere in between. I love to get rid of things, but I also love to collect things. <laughs> so, um, we have a ton of games and puzzles and things like that. Um, also books for kids to read. I have, um, an almost 11 year old, a 10, an almost 10 year old and, um, a seven year old and we pass books around <laughs> and I hold on to them until the seven-year-old is done with them and then I pass them on to nieces and nephews um so we definitely hold on to a lot of things and collect things over time um crayons or markers um I feel like this is kind of a both thing but um if I have to choose I like crayons better because I feel like you have more control over what your finished product looks like. Um, whiteboard or chalkboard. For homeschooling purposes, whiteboard. Um, for decoration purposes, I would go with a chalkboard. I do a lot of chalk painting um, for like a little side hustle that I do. Um, games or puzzles, I will say games. Um, <laughs> actually, my youngest child like mostly learned how to read playing games. Um, so I'm going to, I'm a, I'm a game schooler to the end. Um, screens or no screens. Uh, if I had to choose one, I would say no screens. Uh, we don't really use screens a whole lot in our homeschool. Um, but every once in a while we, uh, will watch a YouTube video or some, something of that nature. Google something. Um, pajamas all day or get dressed. I am a get dressed person. I feel like I can't function well without um, taking a shower and putting on real clothes. So um, read aloud or independent reading. I love both. Uh, 
but I am really into the whole read aloud thing right now. Um, I actually remember my mom reading aloud to uh, my siblings and I when I was in homeschool, so I uh, definitely love reading aloud. Um, I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Classic or modern literature? These questions are hard. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to say classic because that's what made me fall in love with reading was reading classic literature. Um, but I definitely read a lot of modern literature as well. And I feel like there are a lot of really great modern writers. But, you know, I do love the classics like uh, Jane Austen and C.S. Lewis and Tolkien. So um, we're going to go with that. Um, science or history? It's science for me. I love science. My kids love science. We just, we're a science family. Um, fun fact, I wanted to be a scientist, but I don't math very well. So that held me back. Um, art or music? Uh, I'm going to say art. I love art. I am an amateur artist, so, um, art for sure. Um, nature study or poetry tea time? I'm going to say nature study. Um, nature study. I don't think I need to. Okay, uh, lunch with your kids or lunch alone. Don't hate me for this, but lunch alone. I am a huge introvert, and by the time we get to lunchtime, mama needs to recharge her batteries a little bit. So, um, I definitely will hide my room while I eat my lunch. Um, <laughs> school at the table or school all over the house. Um, we are typically at the table um, for most of school. Um, the kids do have desks. Well, they're not desks. They do have tables in our office where my husband works. Um, and sometimes we do things on the couch. I guess they watch their IEW on the couch. So maybe I'm changing my mind. Maybe school all over the house. I guess. Um, I am usually at the table though. Uh, let's see. What is the next one? Take summers off or school year round. Um, I, if I was an independent homeschooler, I probably would do year round. We live in Southern California and it is hot here during the summer and there's not, we don't want to be outside. Like last week it was still 110 degrees. So, um, we did have a pretty mild summer, I feel like, for the most part this year, but August especially is the worst. So we do homeschool through a charter, though, so we have to homeschool um, just in the regular months that take summers off. Okay, and the last one, you guys. <laughs> Mummify a chicken or dissect a frog. Can I say neither? Because that's gross, and I don't want to do either one of those things. Even though I say I love science, I only like certain parts <laughs> I don't want to dissect things although they do now have like fake things that you can dissect and I do think that that looks pretty cool so uh I think dissect a frog if I can get one of those dissection kits that's not an actual animal does that count let me know in the comments um <laughs> anyway uh that is all of the questions um so Anyway, uh, if you look in the description box below, you will find a playlist with a ton of homeschool moms who are part of this collaboration. Um, we are all excited to be back doing this. So um, about once a month, you will see me talk about the homeschool show and tell and how wonderful it is and how wonderful all of those other moms who are on YouTube are. And um, I hope that you uh, will go and check all those out. So thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video uh, next week. Okay, so this is the part of the video where we share a funny story <laughs> and uh, usually it's me that shares the funny story, but my oldest daughter Beth, um, <laughs> the fifth grader, really wanted to share her story. Go ahead. Okay. so. <clears throat> A couple days ago, we were at my uncle's pool, and he had these big floatable sharks, and I climbed on one of the sharks. 
And I was just like, I harnessed the power of the shark. And then it fell off the shark. <laughs> I just fell off the shark. <laughs> Backwards. So she fell off the tail. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Maybe you had to be there, guys. I don't know. But they, they think it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. So now you know why I film when my children are not here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to insert this uh, meme here <laughs> as it pertains to what you just saw. Um, anyway, um, hopefully I'll have something funny for you in my next video. So make sure you stay to the end and, uh, I'll see you then.